Hey curious people, this is I think about part four of the scrap out of that um, surprise electrical box that I got. It's a little bit warmer out here today, thank goodness. But you know, not much, but we're gonna, got a few miscellaneous bits there, but we're gonna start with these uh, rather retro BT handsets. Um, curious to see what kind of cards these have got in inside them. I was quite impressed with the more modern BT card that I had, so this will be very interesting to see. All right, so this is their battery, rechargeable battery pack in here. So it's obviously not old, old, because it is a, you know, rechargeable unit. That needs to go for recycling. Oh, look, I can see I can see a double layer of card in there though. Not sure how big, but we'll. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I came out and was needed straight away and had to go back in. So, right, take two. I think I've, yep, undone those screws. I do a bit of emergency kite mending. So. Oh yeah, yeah, right, I'm back again. Quite my functions. <laughs> we are now all sorted. So um, you might notice I've only got two of these. There were three and another old school model. I've lost two of them to my children to play with, which I did think would probably be the case. So that's that's fine. Um, so one of them was the same as this one. Um, think it's just going to be a case of oh yeah I think I was saying before there we are um I have ordered some prying open tools okay so this bottom board is obviously going to be for the buttons and then this is the main board not a lot to it crystal oscillator there Capacitors, ceramic capacitors. Um, that's about it, really. So let's just let's get it off anyway and have a little look. It's not quite as good actually as the the modern one, but then I don't know if the fact it was a had a digital display on it made it any better, not entirely sure. Right. Okay, so we've got quite a big IC on the back here. And a couple here. Um, that's, that is it. Hang on. A, just to confuse me. Doesn't take much. It's rather ambitious of me thinking that I can come out here. My husband's gone food shopping. It means that it's highly unlikely the children are gonna not to need me in the time that he's gone. I mean, I've already stopped twice and I've only been going about two minutes. But I thought I'd give it a go because the weather's nice. We'll see. There we go. Okay. I'll leave these together for now at least. Just re-examining and sometimes I miss things the first time round. What is that? Is that like a copper? I actually don't know what that is. Let's have a little look. Hmm. Huh. No. 
does it say? Plus minus, is there a backup battery in there? I don't know. No idea. Okay, that's just the buttons. And the speaker here. I'll have that as well. The amount of screws I get is unreal. Now, oh, you can hear all that shouting. It's the um, it's the footballers. This is sealed, so I'm without my little vice. I may not be able to actually. Let's see. No, I can. There is. There we go. And look at that red colour. Strange. I'm just going to lift away this bit and then in the magnet, oh, surrounding the magnet here. go that's what I wanted only tiny but I'm certainly not leaving it behind Leave that over there. Um, normally I keep the magnets because um, they make great little memo things and they're handy for testing metals and stuff but um, I'm not sure I can be bothered to get that one out to be honest leave that there Okay. Now, what is this? Don't know. Some white metal underneath. Okay. So, that's one. Try not to hang around too much. Um, it's difficult, you know, getting the fine line because when I watch scrap out videos that people are doing, I love watching the whole thing. Um, some people um, kind of massively edit, edit them down, but I actually like this, just watching and listening to them rabbiting on like I do. Um, so I tend not to edit mine down because I just think, well, you know, if people don't want to see, they can fast forward it. But I do know some people don't like the long videos, so, you know, if my videos are a bit too long and boring for you, apologies. <laughs> You'll just have to watch someone else or um, hit the fast forward button. Okay, so I do like to compare because sometimes, surprisingly, there are some differences um, with things that look exactly the same from the outside, but not in this case. That is exactly the same. Yep right down to the last capacitor so we know what we've got here I didn't think that would come all the way out there we go oh uh, results are in we're all negative which is what I suspected anyway, but even though you suspect it, there is a little part of you that does sort of, you can't help but think, oh, but what if I've come into contact elsewhere? So um, my daughter's test came in at about 6am this morning and we had to wait till about quarter past 10. Um, 
I thought they'd all come through together, but then she was the one with actual symptoms. So I guess hers was like a priority thing. They weren't all sort of processed together. So we just had to <laughs> be a little bit more patient and wait a tiny bit longer for that result. Right. I mean, this wire is so low grade. It's not, for me. It's not worth because I don't send stuff off. Uh, I process it myself. It's not worth me actually doing anything with that. Um, I'm going to get that tiny band of copper though, obviously, because that's what I do. Yeah. So anyway, that was our big relaxing news this morning so I can at least get back to work on Monday I don't I absolutely hate having time off especially when I'm not even ill and had to be off not not fun I had an operation a few years ago I literally had the minimum time off absolutely possible I love being at home but I just it's, it's sort of a, a thing of um not being where you're supposed to be so in lockdown I was totally fine because we were all locked down and I wasn't supposed to be at work but I think when you know everyone else is at work and that's where you're supposed to be and you're not my brain has trouble with that probably one of my little alty traits of my own that and food gosh am I fussy with my food that's my other alty trait okay oh, I don't want to put that in there I want to put that there Right, so we've just got to try and bash that copper out again. There it is. They're usually pretty easy to get out. Nice. That's going to go over there. Okay. The ever-growing plastic mountain. I have to see, I might not be able to put that bit in with the not sure okay so that's the boards out of those two phones next on my list from that box got a couple of battery chargers here um, they are almost identical uh, as in like made in the same factory but called something else um, I, I, if these boards are not the same in here, I'll be absolutely amazed because they look the same to me. Um, we'll have a look. It'd be a little awkward getting in to these um, when you can't see. You just got to go by what you can feel. And just assume that the tip is in the screw. There we go. So I've never seen a side uh, a battery charger like this actually. It's obviously for some sort of you know power tool or appliance. Um, yeah, there'll be nothing particularly special. Brown board being one thing that gives that away. There's a clip. Right. Let's see, we might just be able to pop off the whole thing. No. Oh, I need to get... That's awkward. I need to get this off to get these... Is it just two screws holding it in? I think so. Can I get to them without? Oh, I might be able to actually. Got to that one. And then. Actually, there is an access point here. Perfect. Can't actually see anymore. The rest looks like plugs. I have ordered myself some gloves. Um, I saw, I know I snapped the board. I saw another scrapper 
Um, I think it's Raphael Scrapper. Um, I saw his gloves and I thought, oh, that is exactly what I have been looking for. Something thin enough to be, like, so you can still be nimble and work with them, but just a layer of protection for your hands. And even that thin layer out in the cold would feel better, you know? Oh, well, there's, I don't, look, there's one down there. Can I, can't really see is the trouble. So this will be a potlucker. Oh, so fiddly and awkward for something that's going to be such low value as well. I'll do it this way. There we go. Hey. Okay. God, these are really awkwardly on there, aren't they? Just got to sort of twist them enough to be able to lift them out. No, they do need hammering. They're too stiff. It's a bit of a chunk of metal, actually. Did that wrong. I was trying to bash it down in and I bent it over. What a doofus. God, it's not very malleable, this metal. Okay, let's see. God, dearie me. Oh. Missed one. It's got like a nut on the other end of it. Got it. Holding something else in there. Right. Try and bend it upwards. Maybe I can snap them off. been a mistake <laughs> the first one snapped off easily so I thought oh okay we'll snap them off but actually I mean if I have to I'll just snip this little edge of the board but I would prefer not to have to do that there we go that one snapped off okay and so did that one so let's see if I can no more screws uh... No more screws. Ah, gotcha. And also, because the soldering on the back of these cheap boards is so sharp, it would be nice just to have gloves just to not keep stabbing myself in the fingers, to be honest. Alrighty. Well, I, I am aware that I do say that and sound very much like Jim Carrey saying, alrighty then, it's... Uh, yeah, another guilty pleasure. Right, here we are. Here's the board. Some pretty chunky ICs on it. And obviously loads of capacitors. That's it. Is that a relay or is that? Maybe. So yeah, not... Um... Not much in the way of anything here. Just a very cheap, cheap board. But let's just see, because my theory obviously is that this one will be exactly the same. Even though it's got different, hasn't got the brand name on and the, the writing is just ever so slightly different uh, on the top here. Oh, hello wasp. Oh, you can go away. Oh, no thank you. As if I wasn't was chasing me at this time of year. It's bad enough in the summer. Right. Let's just see. Let's 
So I'm gathering up all of the boards that I get out of this um, surprise box. Um, got, I've actually got a lovely box of little boards in there from those DVD players and things. So yeah, as expected, same sort of setup here. Drop another screw. And just the two little screws holding that in place with the one that is quite tricky to actually see, but I'll do it this way. There we are. So I can get that off. No, oh, that hasn't quite come out. It has now. Okay. Maybe that's quite out either. There we go. Just the same. Oh, it's a coil. Oh, okay. Right, so I might just go straight for the snapping of these off this time. Instead of trying to like hammer and bend them into... Oh look, broke the board. Which isn't a problem. It's just a low grade. Like the lowest of the low grade board anyway. And one more. Okay, oh, and I don't remember that one, but I'm assuming it was. No, you know what? This is different. Ever so slightly. Because... I hope I had those the right way around. Um, oh, maybe that's just something wrong with it. It's actually just missing. No, oh, they are different. Okay, so... Very similar components. Uh, these ICs are all the same. Same amount of ICs and capacitors are in the same place. This is slightly different, but I'm wondering if this is just missing. Um, yeah, that's a slightly different component. Um, but to do the same job. I just wonder if I can... Let's see if there's a copper coil in here. Because that will be something I want. And yes, there is. So that's what that bit was on the other one that I wasn't entirely sure of. Yeah. There we go. You can see it coming out. So I'll retrieve those. And obviously this will be the same. Yeah. There it is. This is copper too. That casing there. Brilliant. So I'll bust those off. Okay, well that's something of interest to me anyway. Those little tiny like transformer bits. Right. Okay, and on to the next thing. And back to the plastic mountain. Now this one is a bit more, looks a bit more complicated. Obviously we're going to have some copper. Oh, I hate these mini layers. 
and let's just check out the pins in yeah some gold pins in the scart nothing particularly special okay it looks like a scanner um i assume these under these feet will be the access points yeah So we shall have a look and see. Okay, da 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 da. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, in which case, there must be a bit more to this piece. She says. Okay, let's just cut these off. It's a plug anyway. Hopefully, it'll just pull out of there. Oh, and I took the board with it. Okay, fair enough. old spring yes I did have to make myself throw that into I could have played with that for a bit longer right a little look. okay so this is just the motor to these bits that turn the cogs um, but I want the motor, obviously. If I just... There's the tiny motor. It's got um, some there's more metal that needs retrieving out of there um, I'm not sure that's reaching in the hole to be a by hand oh. yeah so at least uh, we can get back to normal now I don't have to stay in isolating which is good to be honest I'm impressed we even managed to get a test so quickly and yeah, all right, the results didn't come in the 24 hours advertised, but we didn't have to wait that long, really, considering it's all going up and up and up. I think that's pretty cool. Here we go. Ooh, I can see lots of ICs there. Another transformer. Okay, just basically going to take off all the screws I can see, just see what it reveals. And you know me, I always miss at least one screw in these things. Screws and plugs and yeah, I always miss stuff. It's like a not seeing the wood for the trees sort of thing. Ow. The gold pins got me. Right. OK. 
Okay, so, ooh, okay. Nice gold pins here. Very tall. Now, I think this is protective of this. That's probably uh, a lasery type bit that I don't want to tamper with. So I'm gonna leave this as is. So yeah, on here, loads of ICs and some gold pins, big gold pins here. So that's that bit. And now it's a case of trying to get to the rest of it. If I could just see, yeah, there's one. I've done a scanner before. I have actually got an old printer scanner of ours that's just basically been used as a platform for a new one, exactly the same on top of it, um, that I can take to pieces. Um, a little bit of brass there. Okay, huge IC there. Any more screws under there? I don't think there are. Famous last words. What am I missing? Oh, there's a little pluggy thing there. Don't feel like that's it though. I think there's a, like a plug right underneath that transformer. Um, it's these solder points, I think. They are, they're like soldered in. It's very weird. That's not going to do it. I thought I might just push it in, but there we go, got it. Okay, nothing on the underside then, so this is it. Transformer, some Epsom, that's an Epsom IC, quite a big one. Ah, there we have it. So that's inside the little scannery type thing. Basically just a load of ICs. Yeah, okay, transformer as well, and the capacitors. Right, nice. Right, so then last on my little bit is this thing, which I don't really think there's going to be anything in this. I don't know. I don't even know where to start and getting this thing open. Can't see any. I can't even see, it's like one moulded piece as well. Hmm. My hands are beginning to get a bit chilly now. Alright. Basically, I did that wrong. I should have just pushed it in. There we go. Okay. Not entirely sure what. 
metal that is. Okay. Frost spring. No screw bits. Gosh. And this might have to be a smash with the hammer job. There we go. Right. Ooh, nice copper there. Right. Let's just take these off. Very difficult to see with those glasses on. Okay. Can I see any actual screws? Pieces. Gosh, this is a messy one, eh? Right, look at that lovely copper there. Yes, thank you. Lovely. Quite heavy too. Um, there's the motors in there as well. I want that too. Slippery little sucker. All right, there we go. are so cold there we go eeny beeny motor i just can't stand the plastic mountain so bad okay right oh gosh more screws Plug there. I don't think there's anything holding them in. They're only one level, one layer, sorry, brown boards. Nothing special at all on the board front. Can I get in there? Yeah. Okay, just a tenty. No, I see. Nothing special there. And it just basically looks like a load of capacitors underneath this one. Uh, I know I keep putting my glasses on and off. It's because um, they're not very... Oh, crumbs. They're not very good, so... Um, I find it hard to see with them on so if I'm not actually pinging something up where I need them to protect my eyes I just uh, take them off okay right there's another motor in there there must be oh, that's it Okay. Now there must be this must be a motor. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Well it is, I can see it is. Um but 
very difficult to get in there, you know. like it is uh, glued in this oh no there's movement there's movement say come to me I'm not going to have to get that out of my fingers because it's just too in there hey, there we go nothing can get left behind so there it's another little motor okay well that's that part of the scrap out done obviously there's the cable. Um, these are always a bit fiddly to get into. I'll just see if I can get into this one. Oh, look, what a div. See what I mean? Ta da! Well, I've had one of those ICs off trying to get into the thing. Okay, so that's inside the actual SCART unit. A few little ICs. That's basically it. Nothing special, but there are gold pins. lift away don't think there's any more there we go so yeah these are just soldered you, I could break the solder points and just you know get them off if I wanted to uh, a bit fiddly so yeah this is it though just some ICs gold pins the copper in the cable I always make at least one thing harder than it needs to be so you can see an awful lot of waste the waste Just a couple of little metal bits that need taken off a couple of those bits they can go in metal so the phone boards another small thing of copper somewhere as well so this is what we've got out of the two BT phones scanner the two battery chargers which are those and the brawn cleaning thing <laughs> whatever that is for um, my particular favorite is this thing which did come out of that brawn thing it's really heavy and this is not heavy because it's plastic hollow plastic but the the copper on there is heavy which is very nice uh, a couple of little motors okay right so i'm gonna go and warm up have a cup of tea and then hopefully get back out here to do another one i really want to get through that box of goodies all right thanks for watching see you in the next one bye